I'm here in Barcelona and we're about to see a thousand people come into this auditorium and we're going to go on a journey into the future with Avnet Silica, looking at where digital will take us over the next 10 to 20 years. Now, of course, that will take us not just into space, but possibly even right into a first colony by human beings on the planet of Mars. It could take us into extraordinary changes in terms of autonomous vehicles, flying taxis, uh, all kinds of new ways of building aircraft, of managing our time, of social interaction. But the thing I'm really going to look at is the future of digital on health. As a physician, as well as a futurist, that's an area that particularly fascinates me. Why is that? Well, the Human Genome Project has been underway since the year 2001, when we first decoded the entire genome of one person. And that cost us $800 million to do. But we've now got the capacity to do it for $400. That's $800 million down to $400 in 20 years. And I'm going to be asking my audience behind me here, with their technology and all the other resources of the digital, biotech, nanotech, Invitech revolutions, what would be the cost of decoding my genome in another 20 years' time? $800 million down to $400 in 20 years. Huh, it's clear it's going to be price of the McDonald's hamburger or less. In fact, it'll probably be free from your pharmacy if you get your prescriptions from them on a regular basis. What that means is that it won't be long before we have maybe 200 million entire genomes that we can compare with maybe 30 years of 200 million people's medical records. Oh my goodness, that is the mother of all big data. Because out of that could come the most extraordinary capacity to prophesy your own healthcare future. And what that will mean is that we can start interventions inside your body maybe 10, 15 or 20 years before you need medical help. This capacity to begin to re-engineer the future of human life is just one example of the extraordinary power of digital fused with everything else over the next 10, 20 or 30 years. The capacity even to reverse some aspects of aging when we have that information combined with all the future technologies we have. For instance, we already know how to take cells from my own arm and grow them in the lab and persuade them to become new retinal light-sensitive cells grown in sheets, which can then be inserted into the back of the eye of the person who's donated those cells. So the cells that they're growing are from the person's body, going back into the person's body to repair the retina and restore sight. Now, if you are one of 30 million people in the United States of America today who has macular degeneration, that's mighty good news. So these are just small examples of the gigantic revolution. I would say this, in human terms, in the year 2022, we're probably in the first two minutes of the digital revolution. What comes next will be completely extraordinary and beyond our capacity to fully imagine.